Okay, welcome back to Exploring Northern Ontario. If you remember the last time I was out, late in November, I collected some Arsino pyrite samples from these old gold trenches. And now it's time to see if there's any free gold in these samples. So I'm gonna grind this one up, pan it out, and see if we see any gold. If we don't, then it's going into the furnace, and we're gonna do a fire assay. And one way or the other, we're gonna find out if there's gold in here or not. Sometimes my pulverizer rock crusher doesn't really break up the rocks as nicely as I, I would want. So what I do is I add some of these steel balls into it and they'll really smash it up really good. Yeah, that smashed it up. Pretty good. You can see all those shiny sulfides in there. All right, now that I've got all this nice fine material, before I pen it all out, I'm gonna take 50 grams for our assay. So when we, uh, after we pen it, if we find out there's no gold in it, we're gonna wanna do a fire assay. So I'm going to take those 50 grams out right now and put those in our charge. Okay, I did make a quick mistake when I, when I put those 50 grams of, of uh, ore in here. Of course, that wasn't roasted. So I quickly roasted that and I put it back in. Now it's a nice red color and it's roasted. If I hadn't have done that, any gold that was in there would not have been released because the sulfides would have prevented it from releasing. Okay, so let's get the panning. Oh, look at all the sulfide sticking to the to the surface. Put some soap in there. I don't want I don't want all this dirt in my barrel, so I'm gonna pan it and just let the let the black stuff run off. Okay, we've got it panned down pretty well. Lots of shiny, but that's pyrite. Now when I look carefully up there, all those pieces, it's still just pyrite. Okay, so as far as VG, visible gold, I'm not seeing it. Let's see what the assay shows us.
this on that bead. So if there's any gold, it's in there. Okay, so here's the bead, the lead bead we ended up. So we added, I think it was, it was 185 grams of our collector metal, 185 grams of uh, lead flux, which was 50% flux. So we should have 92 and a half grams of lead, but we don't. We've only captured 36 grams of lead. The rest of the lead, I'm not really sure where it went, but if you look at the flux, it's very dark, very dark color. I can't find any more lead anywhere in there, but all I can guess is that there's small amounts of lead throughout, throughout this flux, even though it came quite nice. I don't see any mat anywhere, but still we only have 32 grams. So anyway, we're gonna, it's too big to fit on the capel, so we're gonna cut that in half and put it on two capels. Now we'll put each of those on a capel. Let's see, how heavy is that one? 23 grams, no problem. And that one is 14 grams. Got the capels warming up in the furnace already. One and two. Now we wait. Okay, so there you go. There wasn't any free gold in there, but we had to smelt it to discover that there was a little bit of gold in there. We have two small beads on the capels. So this material, this uh, arsenopyrite, actually does contain some gold. We'll see you next time.